All right, this is uh, what we're gonna do today. We're gonna change the hydraulic hose for my steering unit on my Simplicity lawn tractor. Um, over time, that hose has been rubbing on the inside of the uh, hood, right about in this area, and it's uh, caused a, a leak. That hose drives this hydraulic um, arm right here that controls the steering. As you can see by all the oil and everything, um, it's been leaking and uh, and I just noticed it the other day while I was mowing, so I stopped and looked, and and uh, it was actually the hose. Let me open up the hood here, get a better look at it. Here's the hose right here, and as you can see, it's got quite a bit of damage right here, and this is where the leak is, right there. So I'm gonna have to take this hose off, get a new hose with new fittings, and uh, and replace it. So, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Okay. Um, as you can see, if you can look up in here, this this is the hose here that we're going to need to remove. And as you can see, there's there's a, there's this dash, the inside of the dash that's that's keeping me from getting any type of wrench in there, uh, real easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this dash out, and it's just got some five sixteenths. It's got four or five sixteenths uh, screws that hold it in. So we're just going to take those out, and then hopefully the dash will come right out. And these are just quick connects right here that you can just pull out like that. And we can get to get those off. I'll get that off here in a second once I can see that side. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off and uh, then I'll be back with you to show the next step. Okay, I removed the last bolt and as you see this, this has the four bolts right here. One, two, three, four. Remove the bolts and then this whole assembly comes out and now we should be able to reach right in here with a wrench and remove this this fitting right here in order to get that hose off. Okay. Okay. Um, as you can see there's there's really still not enough room in here to get this get this fitting off and this is the, the hose that we're gonna need to replace. Um, so I'm actually gonna have to take this one off. Um, right here, I can get to that one fairly easily and then pull that apart so I can get this one off. So I'm going to take this one off here now and then uh, when we come back I'll be taking this one off. Okay, as you see now, this lower one's off and you just got to beware. Um, I actually attached this to the positive battery terminal post and it created a little arc and with the hydraulic fluid and everything you just want to be careful that you don't do anything. So I'm going to put a piece of cardboard in between those two and then when I come back, I'll be able to access this uh, line and get that off. Okay, now that I've got my cardboard wedged in here, this is just some cheap cardboard paper I had laying around. It'll just keep it from arcing against this and I can get in here and get to this nut. And we'll just take this nut off and uh, this top part of the fitting will come off and then we'll be ready to take the bottom one off. It just takes a little bit of turn time to, to get this nut off. You have to go slow with it. Actually, I could probably do it with my finger part of the way, but we'll go slow with it until we can get it off, and then uh, then we'll take the lower end off. And this is going to be taking an 11 16 inch wrench to get this top fitting off. Okay. Okay, I've got the uh, the hose off at this point up here. Um, it was actually pretty easy to take off once you can get to it. Um, and then what we're going to do is there's a w there's a uh, wire tie right here that we're going to have to cut. It's plastic wire tie, and then we'll put that back on whenever we go back to install the new one. And as you can see, it just threaded through down through here to the engine, right here. And this one here, where it attaches to the uh, hydraulic ram, that one's going to need a three quarter inch three quarter inch wrench to get that off. And we'll just ease that off right there. And you should be able to undo it with your fingers from there. Now be careful because a little hydraulic fluid will probably leak out of this hose whenever we're doing this. Yeah, here it comes. And uh, it'll have to drain that hose, but maybe we can take it off and then get it pointed upwards real quick and it'll stop the dripping. All right. So all we have to do now is just pull it through the firewall. And uh, once we get that clip clipped off and then the hose will be off. Okay, now I'm just threading it through. I've already uh, cut the wire tie, so that's loose. And uh, as you can see, it's down here, right there. I'll put a new wire tie on whenever we get uh, the new hose. And we'll just pull this through. This hydraulic fluid's gonna leak out. 
try to keep these even as possible so we got as much as or it won't leak out as very much until I can get it off the lawn and into the into a bucket and right to the firewall there we go there's our hose there's you can see a better picture of the damage that was caused and that's what's causing it to leak as you can see it's been rubbing for quite a while this mower is uh, approximately 13 years old it's a uh, simplicity legacy um, garden tractor so uh, we'll get a new hose and connect it all back together there's no need to bleed anything when you get it connected back together and uh, it should be steering fine again